Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a dedicated review of a new palette that I am so excited to sink my hands, my fingers, my eyes into. I think this is such a beautiful, colorful palette. From what I can see, I have not touched it. I have not even opened the PR. I have the Candy Skies collection from Loralee Los Angeles. I'm sure you guys already know from the title. I am so thrilled to be trying this out. I don't know about you guys, but I'm craving a little bit of color. I started playing with makeup, doing a little glam, getting ready, and I am bored with my brown eyeshadow. Nothing wrong with a little brown eyeshadow. I've been quick about my makeup for like an entire year, but I'm excited to do something more colorful and fun, and this just, this is it. So let's open this package up. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining the PR package. I feel so bad. I did not want to go all the way downstairs for scissors. Yes, I'm being that lazy. I am on an upper floor and it is still hot here in Seattle. I'm waiting for the days to cool down, but we're just not quite there yet. So everything seems like twice as hard. And yes, I just ripped into this package using my hands and these non-effective cuticle scissors. But we're getting in here one way or another. All right, well, I just ruined the box. I feel bad now. Okay, it had, this is not going as planned, but we're about the makeup, not the box. However, I do appreciate a cute PR box presentation, all of that, and I just wanna say this is adorable. Candy Skies just looks, it looks like candy themed. I mean, it's appropriately named. It looks colorful and candy-ish, and like you just wanna play and swatch and get in the colors. See, isn't that cute? So this is the little card that comes with it. You have Aaron and Laura looking gorgeous. You get some info on the back of the card as to what is in this collection. The palette itself is $45. I think that's a really good price. You guys, this is cute, right? Is this not so cute? It's very sizable. It's a lot bigger than I thought. This seems to be, if my memory serves me correct, the same size as Nudie Patootie, a little bit bigger than the other palettes that Laura has launched. It's kind of a, yeah, it's a, it is a palette. Whoa, I like it already. I approve of these colors, the setup, everything about it. We're gonna go ahead and do some necklace swatches and then figure out what I want on my eyes. How about that? Okay, this white, is called marshmallow. It's bright white. Okay, that is a hard color to create. This is going to mute down your more bold shades. I don't think the intention from this first watch was for it to be like chalk bright white, like what you see in the pan. I think it's gonna be a color that's useful to blend and mute and diffuse other brighter colors in this palette. All right, next door we have macaroon. Ooh, Barbie, that is like, I love that kind of purpley pink. We have mixed berry, which feels so smooth, just patting it on the finger. Beautiful. Then we have e-bug. These are really pretty. Vibrant, right? Hello. Next, I'm gonna go into pink strawberry. We have Sugar Mama. Ooh, this one is super smooth. Peach Ring, like a little gummy candy. That's really, ooh, that's pretty. Now keep in mind, I do have some lotion on my body. That's beautiful. That's a nice orange, like a terracotta. This one is called Roasted Caramel. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have a new favorite snack. Of course, we're gonna discuss food because a lot of these names are reminding me of food. My favorite thing right now is to take, I think the brand name is Swerve. It is a plant-based brown sugar that I put in a jar and it is just literally caramelly, brown sugary, delicious. I do Cool Whip, I do strawberries, berries, a little bit of walnuts and almonds, and then I sprinkled this on top with just a teeny little teeny tiny bit of caramel drizzle. I am telling you, if you are looking for a summertime snack that is majority healthy, that is better than a slice of chocolate cake, oh, it is so good. Anytime I see the word caramel or, which by the way, what do you guys say, caramel or caramel? Does it even matter? I don't think so, it's delicious and that's just a fact. Anytime I see the word, I'm just like, I need some berries and caramel or caramel. 
or caramel or however you say it. Okay, moving on, we have sunset. Yay, a shade that won't make me hungry. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna go beautiful, love it, cloudy. Really pretty. You guys, this palette is watching pretty dang good, especially considering that I do have a little bit of lotion on. Mint chip. Okay, we're back to food. I love mint chip ice cream. Who else? Why do I just want to tell you all of my like healthy alternatives? I found like a keto ice cream that is also not sugar. I really try to not do the sugar. Sugar makes me um, tired and I don't like to be tired. Pistachio. Mm. These names are great. These colors are so nice. I think I want to do something in the minty, minty, minty realm, I think. Okay, we have sky blue. Okay, that one did not swatch as well as maybe I would hope. That's okay. Blues are tough. Ooh, up close pistachio is so pretty. Okay, the blue color, if you're going to build it up, look at that color. It's worth it. It's beautiful. It's not as intense at first kind of swatch drag. This is one of those that I'd really need to see blended on to decide. Ooh, blue raspberry though. I know I'm gonna like this. This has that type of consistency right from the dip that it just kind of feels creamy, almost wet. Yeah. Oh, we're using that. That's pretty. I'm gonna look kind of ready to do more than just hang around the home in a heat wave, but I think it will be fun. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit and we will get to application. I'm gonna go ahead and prime the eyes with some MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Yes, I am still into a lot of the same products that I was into before I left the internet, uh, but we're gonna go on in. I'm using just a beauty blender and I'm gonna pat this all over the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and use a tool that I reviewed in one of my weirder products tested videos that I still love and reach for whenever I'm gonna do a really intense, colorful look. I love using this. This is the crease piece, and I'm gonna go ahead and look a little bit wild while doing this, but the result is really nice, especially if you have eyelids like me where literally this right here is how I don't have a lot of space right here. Like I've got to kind of create and cheat a little bit of a cut crease, especially if I want to put any color in the crease. It just helps to define and lift and gives you a stencil to work with. You'll see what I'm talking about. If you never watched that video, prepare to be wowed. All right, I'm going to go in with drum roll, please. I'm going to go in with mint chip. Let's just do it. Let's go for it. I'm using a Stilazzi Crease Blender, an L215. I always feel so professional when I remember to tell you what brush I'm using. Okay, I'm gonna tilt back and go ahead and start building up the crease with this minty shade. Dude, you could be a toddler and use this tool and be like, cut crease. It's pretty incredible. Bam. Woo, we're playing with color. I like it. I'm just so much happier these days, you guys. It's like I took a time out, not just from my life and filming, but from makeup. Not that I didn't wear makeup, but I didn't wear makeup. There's a difference. Do you catch me? Do you know what I'm saying? Like now I'm like, I wanna wear makeup. I wanna put on music and I wanna spend a ridiculous amount of time coloring my face like I am a paint by number or I am my own adult coloring book just to kind of ease the stress. And it is like, mm, satisfaction. I'm loving it. I'm loving makeup. I'm like revitalized for, for makeup again. Why is this important? Um, well, for one, we're on a makeup channel, is what I would say. <laughs> we're gonna take a different brush now. There is a new construction project across the way as, uh, as it would be in my life. I feel like every place I've ever lived, there has always been like, wait, there's a plane. There's a guy with his lawnmower. There's a guy, I would always say with the chainsaw, but it was never a chainsaw, it was like a wood cutter. If you hear people building things, it's cause they're building things. We're just gonna continue. We're going in with mint chip again. 
I mentioned this before that one of my favorite techniques is to use multiple brushes of different sizes in the same shade. It gives you a really blown out effect no matter what style you're doing as far as eyeshadow goes. And even with bronzer, even on the face, you can use the same technique. You see how it's able to really brighten up through here and intensify, but it still is blown out because I was using a much, much fluffier brush. I love that technique. I highly recommend it. Even if you're just using bronzer in the crease really quickly, you're doing the fastest makeup of your life. If you have two brushes like this, a fluffy one, a more precise one, which this is the Scott Barnes 62. Love it so much. I have been using this brush and washing this brush over and over and over and over and over, and it still is in the greatest shape. I will just go in, boom, 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 freehanded. You don't need this tool if you're just using like bronzer, five minute face, what have you. Maybe I need to do an updated one of those videos, but then you take the more defined brush, the more precise crease brush, same bronzer, same quick color you're using, and just focus on where it flatters your eye shape and it's the quickest eye ever. Quickest, out the door, and we're back. Oh my gosh, I feel like Vogue. This is like a, a thing and I wanted to try it. And now I am. You know why? Why not is why. Why not put mint in your crease? Okay, so what I'm gonna do to kind of soften it up so it doesn't look too harsh, I'm gonna take an itty bitty, itty bitty little brush. I love this one. This is a Stilazzi Mini Crease Fluff L217. I'm gonna take Blue Raspberry, just a little bit of it. Okay, maybe a lot of it. And I'm gonna go back in with this tool right here and kind of go on the outer edge only. Yeah, that did it. Okay, take it down a little, kind of paint downward with what's left over. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna take my finger into Blue Raspberry and pat it to intensify the color on the outer portion of my lid. Sometimes loud makeup makes me a little spicier. I don't know. Anyone else? You just feel more. Let's see here. I'm gonna do a whole like just candy themed rainbow eye because I just wanna try so many of these colors out all at once. This might be a mistake, but let's go for it. I'm gonna take the shade Macaroon and place this on the center of the lid. All right, I have to point something out. Okay, P.S., does this not look like cotton candy fabulousness? Like, this looks like a piece of gum that I would like to chew. This shade, Blue Raspberry, is gorgeous, right? Just on its own, it is take it with a little macaroon over top. It turns almost duochrome really pretty. It's kind of what's happening on the outer portion of my eyelid. I think it's really nice. I really like it. All right, now I'm gonna be a little more precise. I'm gonna use a cream eye color brush from Laura Mercier. I'm gonna do Forever Perfect Fix by Dior. Oh man, it even tastes like perfume. There's a lot of fragrance in here, but it is really nice. I feel like it does set the face really well, but if you do not want fragrance in a setting spray, I would avoid it. Woo, that is perfume. I'm gonna take pistachio and we're gonna go on the inner portion, just this little teeny tiny portion here. I'm gonna pop on a little liner, a little lash, and I will be right back.
My camera has overheated twice while filming this, so the last time it overheated, I did not quite catch it before putting on a liner. And I wanna share with you guys, I am using the Vinyl Eyeliner from Revlon in the shade Royal Rules. And this is just in the waterline below, popped on some cute lashes, did a little uh, lower smudging of the blue from the palette and the purple and macaroon. So we use blue raspberry, a little mixed berry, just so I could try it just a teeny tiny bit, and macaroon. I also took marshmallow underneath the brow bone and softened the inner corner. This is the most colorful look I have worn on my eyes in a year. No joke, I have not worn this much eye makeup that is bright and bold in a long time and it's so fun just to play sometimes and I have to say the color layout of this palette is so fun. If you need something that screams summertime and even if you want to just add in you know a hit of color or keep it neutral with a little bit on the lash line something like that you could easily do with this palette because you do have some of those neutrals the peachy neutrals right in the center of the palette i don't have anything like this in my collection currently so i am so happy that i got a chance to try it the last thing i want to do is pop on the lippies and i will bounce out of here but wow she's wearing makeup okay i'm gonna say one more thing and then we're gonna get to the lips I really love the look of just one color all over the lid, like one bright, bold color all over the lid. This is the color that I have in mind to do this with. I believe it's what Laura was wearing. I saw a picture on Twitter and I was like, that is so beautiful. Whatever she did here, so gorgeous. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to try a bunch of the colors together and do something a little bit more bold. But what I'm talking about is just taking one of these iridescent brighter colors just this all over the lid in the crease liner mascara lashes boom done really easy to play with brighter colors if you just choose one and maybe a matte that accompanies it if you absolutely want something in the crease for more definition but that look of just one shade and keeping it super simple i think looks gorgeous so i'm definitely going to play around with this some more we're going to blot the lip gloss I'm wearing off. And you can purchase Candy Skies for $45 alone. They have a bundle for $59, and then I believe the individual lippies are $16 a piece. Super beautiful packaging. Oh my gosh, it's like my eye look on the package. I like it. Ah, oh, these smell so good. Just. Oh, like waffle cone fabulousness love sweet smelling glosses that's my preference over anything floral i know some people really love rose scented lipstick or rose scented balms i am not that person give me something sweet scented and i'm all about it and this smells great so this right here looks like just a clear gel keep it simple type of a top coat gloss i'm going to try out the one that has a little more pizzazz in it this is the shade ebug super cute and we're just going to pop that on and call it good Really not too much in here as far as shimmer. It's not giving off a nude or golden type of a look to the lip. It's just that juicy, wet vinyl gloss. I think that pairs really beautifully with something punchier and bright on the eye, so I love that. I'm super happy I tried this out. This was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe, ring the bell, leave me comments, let me know what you wanna see next, share the video. I'm just really happy to be back into it. You guys, let me know. Do I start a TikTok or no? I'm keeping this all the way at the very end because like those of you that made it to the end, I wanna know. Like, tell me your honest, 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 honesty. Would it be weird if I got a TikTok? Cause I don't have one, I've held out. I know, right? Who am I? Why I left the internet. I didn't do TikTok ever. I took that solid time out and now I'm hungry and I'm like, I want to try it all. So I'm posting again over on Twitter. Um, I haven't snapped again yet. Do people even snap anymore? I'm not sure. I'm over on IG at Glam Life Guru and just come hang out with me everywhere. 
Uh, if you want to get back in that good brand new feeling of loving makeup again, that's what I'm all about. And I just thank you guys so much for your support. And congrats to Laura Lee, Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is a fabulous palette. I will link everything in the description box below. Go check it out. And thanks for hanging with me, you guys. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.